I made this amazing app within a time span of under 15 minutes and you can do that as well and you don't even have to have any coding knowledge. Now as you can see everything in this app works. It is fully functional and if you go to any of the sections it will take you to a new section where you can see further details about it. Now the question is how did I do this and the answer is Buzzy AI. Buzzy AI is an amazing AI tool that can help you create any app or web app using AI prompts and you don't even have to have any knowledge about coding. Now that was just my experience so why don't we dive into it and create our very own app together. So we are here at Buzzy's website and as you can see you can create any app or website using Buzzy. You can use an example prompt or enter your own prompt and we will be doing that in a second but first let's go to the pricing because I want to mention that Buzzy is not a free tool and you will have to pay to use this amazing tool and they come with different plans like there's AI Pro, the Teams plan as well as if you go with the medium plan or the large plan it's up to you. But for now, I would say that you go with the recommended option because they give you a 14 day free trial, which means you can test the waters before actually paying for this. So once you have an account with Buzzy, all you need to do is log in and it will take you to this workspace here. And there are a few minor things that I want to mention in the workspace. If you go to help and support, you get the documentation, the support forum, Figma templates, YouTube videos, release notes and everything that you need to get started with Buzzy. In the organization tab, you can create your own organizations if you're micromanaging a team. And in my apps, you see all the apps that you've created. So that's all for the introduction. Now let's actually get started and create a new app. So let's go and create a new app. Now, first you will have to define what your app is gonna be about. So let's start. So here is an example prompt, but I'm gonna go with my own prompt. So I'm going to say create an event planning app that allows users to create and manage events. Basically, this app is going to be an event manager or planner. Let's go and hit next. And as we can see, it analyzes the prompt and give appropriate name to the app, event master, there's even description and the functions that this app should have, as well as the user rules and the data requirements. So with all this information, I conclude that they're really serious and thorough about creating working applications for you. So let's go and create a data model now. The AI is creating the data model for you, the backend and the table and the database. You don't need to do anything. And there you go. Within seconds, your data model is done. There are eight fields in the event table, as well as in the session table, there are nine fields. And in the user table, there are four fields. So your backend database is all set and the schema is there. Now let's choose a design. As for the design, you can choose any of these themes and later on you can actually change the theme as you proceed. So for me, I'm gonna go with the light theme here. Let's go and assemble. Now, as you can see, the estimated time down here is gonna take three minutes to build this app, which is like magic. And there you go, your app is ready to preview. Now you can view your app in the browser and edit your app as well. So I'm gonna go view the app first. So this is the app that you created for us. So if you scroll down, we see that we have different events. We can even click on see all and this will take us to the events homepage where we can see all of the events as well as we can add a new event. So if I click here, all I have to do is enter the event name as well as event description and all the fields down here and at the end upload an image for the event and you can add your own events here. Now that was just the events part. Now back here at the home screen, if we scroll down, we see different event sessions like there is networking lunch, on this date at this time and if you click on this arrow here it will take you to the details here where you can see a few tags about the date the starting time and the ending time as well there's a description and there are a few details below now that was one of the modules of this app now if you go to the user section here you can see that it created a dummy profile for you and your role is attending but you can edit that and you can change your email as well as name you can even delete the image and upload a new image and change your role as well. Now this is a complete functional app. And one more thing that I want to show you here is that this is completely mobile responsive, which means you can use it as a web app as well as as a mobile app. So let me go and show you that. So as we can see, it will look something like this on a phone. And if you scroll down, everything is well organized and mobile responsive. If we click on the menu button here, we can see home, this event, you can even search. And this profile, you can even log out by clicking here. Now, this is just the basic template. 
but what if you wanted to make some changes with this template so don't worry i'm gonna show you how you can do that as well so back to the workspace if you click on the event master app here it will take you to this dashboard here where you can see the overview of the app and you can use ai editor so i'm gonna go and edit this so let's go to ai editor first now here in the ai editor you can actually preview it and edit using prompts as well as if you click on this edit button here you can actually interact with the components and edit them now i'm gonna go with the preview option and use prompts to edit this app so first things first let's say i don't like this light theme what if i want a creative theme let's say i want an orange and a black theme for my site so i'm gonna go and enter the prompt here so i'm gonna say create an orange and black theme for my site and that's it let's go and send this message and as you can see it's making changes in the app in real time and there you go it actually changed the theme of your app although it is not looking that good but we were just playing with it and as you can see in the timestamp it did that within a minute now what if i want to go back to my live theme so i'm gonna go and say swap back to the live theme and that's all let's go and hit enter let's go and send this message and there you go your live theme is back but this time what if i want to change the name of this app from event master to something else so all i have to do is say change the app title and then i will have to specify the title here so let's go and say event to and let's send that now these were just basic tweaks that we did with this app and you can pretty much change anything about this app feel free to play around with it and get the hang of using buzzy ai now back here at the dashboard you get three major sections the brief what is your app is going to be about the data that it is using as well as the design so you can pretty much play with the data manually as well you can add new events by clicking here and filling in the details or you can go and add new users as well as new sessions now after that you can even go to the people's tab here and you can remove people from your web app and once you're satisfied with your results you can actually go and share it using this url or the qr code here now that was a deep dive into buzzy ai today we learned how we can make full-fledged apps and web apps using AI without any coding. We went on and created our own app using a prompt and we did some changes to it using AI and without any coding skills. And that too within just 15 minutes. But if you want a really market level app, you will have to spend some time editing your app and it might take one or two hours or maybe a day. But at the end, you will get a good result and you can actually create industry ready apps using this amazing AI. All in all, I was really impressed by this amazing tool and I would totally recommend it. If you found this video valuable, hit the like button. Share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video. We will continue to curb your skills with the latest tech. Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.